Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you a really, really great technique on how you can design a boat, a yacht or a canoe, for example. Uh, I'm by no means a boat or something like that designer uh, or builder. I just, uh, you know, I saw uh, more than one guy, two guys more in the fusion forum. They have been struggling on the uh, design parts and the way they did it was way too complicated. They have created so many um, uh, work planes and sketches and uh, so I thought I'm gonna share something um, which I believe it will be much 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 easier so uh, and obviously again you can use this technique for all the other kind of application other kind of uh, models and, and shapes so um, okay great so let's start <coughs> and uh, start a new project um, new component now uh, if you have sketches of the different profile, for example, the top, side, and back, that would be great. I'm also gonna tell you where you're gonna put it. So, um, great. Now, now we're gonna start sketching on the uh, um, XY plan. The first sketch I'm gonna do here, it's going to, we're gonna use it as our sensor line and also gonna give us indication of the length of the uh, boat yak or canoe that you're going to build. But let's just say we now we're going to uh, build uh, some kind of a boat so i'm going to um, give it some kind of a dimension um yeah let's just say maybe 500 millimeters i'm just gonna constrain it here in the middle and i'm gonna move it a little bit more upwards great now at this point here you can just go in here and where is it insert and attach canvas and when you're gonna attach a canvas, it's gonna be really uh, great, you know, because we have this 500 millimeters, we always have the distance, so we can change it according to uh, this one. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I think uh, I would actually prefer to start from the point, from the top and not from the bottom. So, um, but the, 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 the principle is exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go back and i'm gonna create again a new sketch and i want actually to start from here okay i'm gonna again sketch the uh, line here i'm gonna give it a dimension and i'm gonna center the line good so as i said before so now it's time to put the uh, canvas <coughs> for the top of the boat Good. So um, next, what we're doing, gonna do now is uh, we're gonna just gonna draw the backside of the of the boat. It's gonna be something like this, for example, and um, give it some. You know what? Um, before I'm gonna give it any kind of measurement in this part, I think I will because the first thing the problem is we don't always know 100 percent if you don't have the you know sketches and exact measurement uh, or how it's going to look like so i would rather not um <coughs> create you know the dimension the fix the, the the measurement because then we can uh, play with it and change everything and you're going to see also why okay so we got the part the the, the back side and now I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna use the spline tool. You can use any kind of tool that you want. Um, now when you're using the spline, try not to use too many points because then it's gonna be really difficult for you to, um, you know, control all those, uh, the different points. So, um, and you don't have to draw also in the other side uh, for the obvious reason, you know, left side, right side, they're basically the same unless you want to design something which is uh, quite unique and so good luck with that but what we will gonna do is we're going to mirror one side to the other and if it's bother you to design only one side so you can just close one eye okay just kidding anyway so we got this first initial shape it actually looks really nice on the first shot uh, to be honest I kind of actually like it so I'm just gonna keep it and now I can just go in here to the mirror and say, okay, I want this one. And this is our mirror line and voila, which means now everything that we're gonna do in this side, it's gonna 
replicate to the other side great so now this is the top part and next I'm going to work on the um, on the middle part let me think for a second if I want the middle now no I'm gonna do the back one actually and for that we're gonna create we're gonna use this plan at angle you can find it here plan at angle and we're just gonna go up to here we're gonna use this one 90 degrees you don't actually have to put 90 degrees you can actually also put something else maybe the back gonna look like this you know 70 degrees like this um, you know what maybe I'm gonna do it like this let's see how it's gonna how it's gonna be in the end I haven't tried it um, okay so now we are going to create a sketch here and I'm going to create a line here and in the middle it's gonna be something like this again I'm not gonna uh, give it a dimension yet and I'm going to use the um, the spline tool again to create some sort of a shape but uh, just to be um, you know cautious I'm going to project those points and this is very 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 important because if you didn't project a point or if, let's just say the line you drew didn't intersect with the other uh, sketch correctly it's got, you're gonna have some arrows in the um, when we're gonna use the loft so do that just in case so I'm gonna do something like this and oh, I missed it but it's okay I can just drag it to here and again I don't have to uh, do it both sides I can just do one side and then I can you know go sorry to the uh, mirror and take this one and mirror it to the other side voila so now you know we can play with them the way we want so we can give uh, let's zoom in a little bit oh you see something like this can happen and that is not good so I'm gonna push maybe this one a little bit up here and I'm gonna give it maybe something like that push it a little bit down yeah that's good okay so let's say we finish with the back and by the way when we are in the back side so here you're gonna actually obviously you're gonna add the back a uh, canvas okay and then you can start drew here it's gonna be much easier for you this way so you're gonna have the top canvas here and also the side uh, the, the back canvas here okay now we're going to uh, through the the middle parts the middle profile or the side profile as you want to call it create a new sketch <clears throat> right here in the middle and um, pop, 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 pop. okay now for this one I'm going to use maybe I'm gonna use a combination I'm just you know considering it um, I'm going to project this is the um, the point here that I want and of course I also have this one here so I'm considering maybe to use both you know a straight line now oh sorry and the line here this way and from here I'm gonna bring the um, the spline so I'm gonna have some kind of a nice try to create some kind of nice integration here <clears throat> and yeah this looks better I want to push it in but it's not gonna let me because of this one here so it's just gonna delete it I can add maybe an extra um, spline point here okay let's see what you're gonna do with this one here oh okay 
okay so maybe something like this great next we are going to create you see it's not that difficult so far at the moment you have this skeleton that's it the rest is going to be extremely extremely easy so it's not that much of a work now i'm going to create another offset plane here and this one we're going to put it it's up to you how many do you want again it depends also on the, on the shape of the uh, the boat that you're going to design but i think some place here i'm going to put um maybe a little bit more up maybe here yes so now I'm going to create another shape here, which is going to help us to, you know, another line, a spline, so it can help us really to play with the shape or the size of the boat. So we're going to again go in here. And now we, I'm going to use uh, the, the intersect uh, project command. So I want this one here and this one here and this one here yes actually this one i didn't need it this one i can just uh, remove this one i just need one side remember okay so now i can work on maybe this time i'm not gonna use um, i'm just gonna use three points like this and I just say I'm just gonna test it and see how it looks I think it looks fine looks good if not you know we can always play with it later so uh, what we have left now to do is we just need to mirror it Let's see if it's gonna accept this one no nope. so we're gonna have to create or maybe project this one I think it will be easier to just project the line here and then we can mirror it. We're gonna mirror this one. This is our center line. Great. So far, so good. So these are in the right place. And yes, good. So now we just need to click OK. And now the fun start. The fun part starts. We're moving to the patch environment. And we're going to choose the uh, loft command and we can start from the bottom up or the bottom uh, sorry from the top down but you can choose the chain select uh, let's just see here yes we choose this one then we go to the next we said the loft is in the right direction let's just adjust blah 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 okay so I'm just going to remove this one here. Going to start here, here, and the top. And then we're going to add some those here. And <clears throat> sorry, and the one here. Okay, voila, as you see, smooth on the first try everything works brilliantly because we connected all the lines to each other if you have some issues that's probably because it would say that is not intersecting with the rest of the sketch blah 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 so really do yourself a favor and make sure uh, to project before you know uh, like, like i did and we can click ok and here we go so now we have the skin we have the outside shape and it looks really nice and um, I want to actually turn on all the sketches again and see how it looks great so we don't have to do the other side uh, manually um, in this point basically you can just design only one side here we can just create you know um, let's just see if it's gonna let us if we choose only this one here and maybe here no you're gonna have to do i think everything here so wait a second Let's see if i can patch everything here no never mind i'm not gonna do it this way i'm gonna move on to the neck the other side 
So like before, <coughs> make sure that change select is not selected. And we're gonna start to choose our lines and the, the rails, front and the back. Here you go. Now, if we want to connect now the back side, we can actually, I think we can close all these and we can use this one. No, it's not going to let us from here to here. It's not going to create. No, sorry. Um, we're going to have to use the, where is the back here? Okay. That's because I don't really have line here, but it should now work. Let's see. How come it's not there? Okay, voila. So now we have also the back. Okay, so now we have uh, so we have three pieces, three bodies, which we need to uh, connect together to stitch them. Have one, two, and three. Boom. So we have now, if you see, one body which built out of three pieces, and. Um, yeah, that looks actually really, really nice. Now, at this point, that will be actually a good idea to really start and manipulate the, the shape of the boat before we starting to do more advanced things. Uh, we start making it, transferring it into a real body, into a solid. So now we can, as you can see, I didn't on purpose i didn't dimension all the lines because now if i want you know i can move them i can move them around this one it's like black because it's i think it's fully dimension or something like that but it, so we cannot really move this one now i don't know why that's kind of weird we should be able to see we can change things uh, if we don't like it we want to push maybe this one a little bit more inside and see what's gonna happen to the shape of the boat. As you can see here, changing. So uh, I think it's starting to become more like of a speedboat or something like that. And again, you can do all the kind of changes that you want. You see, make a much lower profile. So you can play with it, you know, gently until you get the results that you want. And then uh, what you're going to do now, it depends. We have two, you can say more, maybe more than two directions you can go because we have those who need the um, uh, the ribs in the middle. For example, if you create this, those small uh, fishing boats, so you need all those ribs here. But no matter what, I'm gonna turn this one. I'm gonna actually gonna close it in the top. I'd rather just close it to make it like a one block and then create a shell inside. If that's not gonna work the way I want, then I can just, you know, use the thicken. Because I can actually use the thicken right now, uh, no problem. And I can give it, uh, um, I don't know, 30 millimeters. Let's see if it's not gonna scream or something like that. See the selection phase will not be offset or just in the offset. Uh, um, if we give it, let's say this is the, for the outside, we change it to the inside. Let's wait and see what's going to happen. <coughs> okay, but 30 uh, <laughs> millimeters maybe it was too much for this, so uh, maybe 10. Okay, this one also quite a lot. Yeah, two, it's fine. Um, that looks really nice but um, so you can either do it this way you know and choose also this face and this face give it a few seconds good and click OK and wait and wait and wait Okay, so now we have our body, <coughs> it is ready. And so now you have the thickness. So 
Now, as I was talking before, I was talking about uh, those who are going to read, for example, the small boats, a uh, fishing boat, for example. Uh, so you basically now need to determine the thickness of those, um, of those, uh, how do you call it, the ribs. That's how I call them anyway. I'm not sure if this is the right uh, terminology, but um, you need to give it the right, um, the, uh, the right thickness. And what you're gonna do next is first we're gonna create, and we're gonna create the outer, uh, you can say the skin, and then we're gonna cut this one into pieces. You understand why it's so easy? The other people that I saw. They started to work on the pieces and the shape all the way in the beginning and they, they, they had like countless of really sketches of all the ribs. It's so really difficult work. This way it's much easier. So we're gonna go here, for example, create. We're gonna go to offset. Then we're gonna offset this one and this one. And if we want also the back side, yeah? And let's just say we're gonna offset in maybe one millimeter should be enough and it should be possible let's see the operation could not create the valid results while adjusting the value changes the input um, I'm not quite sure why it didn't allow us to do it it should let's try again so we chose this one and this one That's odd. I never experienced it actually, this one before. This one is obviously is not gonna allow me, but let's stay with zero. See if it's gonna be okay now. Good. Zero is fun. I think maybe it's because that it's kind of a very tricky, um, you know, face. That's why I couldn't really increase it this way, but there are other ways to increase it. So this is fine. So this is, these pieces, oh, this one we're gonna use to cut, you know, the different ribs. And this is gonna be the skin. There you go. So this one we can thicken outside and that's this one we're gonna use for the skin you understand why it's so smart so but uh, in our exercise now i just gonna continue and uh, basically there isn't much to do from now on now we just need to continue design the boat and perfect it and you can create you know the walls here uh, you can do it uh, yeah many different ways uh, uh, to create here the the deck but I think the most crucial part that actually take a really a long time for many people when they're designing the boat, it's this one to really work on the shape and how to do it, you know, uh, in, in a way. So it's not going to take you so much time. As you can see here, it was so, so simple, so easy. I can change things, you know, along the way. If I don't like them, remove things. And uh, without uh, so much uh, effort, as you can see here. Now the rest, you know, it was quite uh, quite easy how I made all of this. If you want me to create more tutorial to continue specifically on the boat, and uh, just let me know. But uh, <clears throat> I'm sure from here you can take it, continue working on it. Uh, because the rest they are quite easy uh, I'm using as well I know as I, as I told you I'm using a lot actually the um, patch um, environment you see it, how easy it is uh, to manipulate all those faces and to create those amazing also sketches and it's so so easy and um, yeah so as I said before if you have any more question if you want me to continue for example uh, show you how I'm gonna build you know the deck and so on because um, again I'm not a, a boat builder so I really have to be um, going to different you know uh, places and look for inspiration in order to create the deck because there are many ways to create it 
but um, I think at this point here it should be relatively you know easy for you to do um, I mean for example you can continue from here and create you know to um, see create this cover here and if it doesn't fit then you can always use for example the um, the loft command instead okay and um, so yeah so just let me know if you have uh, more co if you have any questions or if you want me to continue um, you know uh, designing this boat or if you have um, questions to regard um, you know how to design other parts of the board um, yeah so I will try to figure out the good techniques for you guys so I hope you enjoyed this uh, um, tutorial as I said you can use those techniques also for other kind of shapes um, and uh, but this one is really really good for uh, people who want to design yacht boats and, and canoes so good luck with your project and I'll see you in the next video bye bye